One UI 7 update is out, but make sure you don't get that green line on your Samsung Galaxy phone. Let's discuss some points that will help you to avoid that green line or pink line on your phone after this One UI 7 update. But why this green line or pink line shows up on your Samsung phone and why this mostly happens after an update? Most of these people had a green line or pink line just after installing an update on their phone. And that update can be a security update or a huge OS upgrade like One UI 7. This is because while installing an update, the phone gets too hot and high temperatures can damage small flex cables right there, which are connecting the display to the motherboard. So when you are already sitting out in the daylight where temperatures are high or charging your phone and installing an update, this will put your phone at high risk to get that green line or pink line on your display. So make sure your phone has enough battery to install this update. Don't charge your phone while installing this update or when you have recently charged your phone then let it cool down for some time. That's also the same reason when you download a software update, it says install it overnight. That's because during night, you are not using your phone. The battery is fully charged and temperatures are down. This helps a lot to avoid excessive heat while the phone installs this update overnight. I never had any green line or pink line issue on my Samsung Galaxy phone. While it's true that this mostly happens after a software update, but damage to this part by temperature or by a physical force will cause flex cables to stop working. And this will show in the form of green line or pink line on your Galaxy phone. Let me know in the comment section if you have installed this One UI 7 update on your Galaxy S24 yet or not. I am seeing that India, Vietnam and Indonesia plus a few other countries from this region are still waiting for stable One UI 7 update. I am having that battery drain and a few bugs like this which is on my lock screen. Even with the stable update. Samsung should push another update, fixing all those things as soon as possible. So that was all about for today's episode. With that said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Until then, bye bye.